Hey everyone, so picked up some shelving, got my stuff organised in here, which is good. So I'm just uh, moving some bits around, I'm going to start building a workbench. Picked up these two before's, got a really good deal on them. They're about £2 each I think, which is really quite good, they're on offer. So I'm going to use them to build a bench, it's going to go from that post to that post and then all the way along there and then round to the door here as well with the space in the middle. Okay, so made a start on it anyway, you get the idea what it's going to look like. So it wraps around all the corners, it's not done obviously, just got just done an hour's work on it or so, just to, I've got to go out now. So I'll come back to it, you know, I'm going to put some legs down and some cross beams as well to make some shelves and then plywood on the top. I think that's going to, um, I think that's going to give me lots of nice workbench and nice loads of space in the middle still as well. So I'm going to have loads and loads of room to, to store my toolboxes and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to work real good. Okay, I started doing a bit more. I've got started getting the lower shelf built. So I'll put plywood all along there as well so I have more storage. Might even put some, some drawers between here or something like that. Yeah, you're getting the, getting the idea of what it's going to be like. So I've got to go out now so I'm going to continue on. I get back. I have to get some plywood cut. I've made it so it's uh, 600 wide. It means I can get two lengths out of a sheet of plywood. So I just get the plywood cut straight down the middle, and then I should be able to get, you know, make the most of a sheet of plywood because plywood's expensive. I've got all my bits of wood cut. So I'll cut around the poles and stuff. Just need to screw it all down. It's not perfect because the building is not perfectly square and all that kind of stuff as always with this kind of building but it's good. Yeah that's screwed down. Okay, so it's a rainy day. Actually looks quite good on camera, but it's a bit of a storm over the top. Just heard some thunder and lightning, so I'll try and do some work in here today. So gonna get this bottom shelf in, and then move some of the stuff of these shelves over here under there. Try and get a bit tidied up, and if the weather sorts itself out, try and finish off around the top of this clad in here. <coughs> Got tiny bit of water coming in there in the corner it must be dripping underneath the plastic and finding its way in that's the only spot at the moment so that's good news so I just need to finish off around here finish this workbench and pretty much done really get some power in here I'm going to run some power from the house back up to here as well so toying with the idea of running the solar panels power into here having the batteries in here and then having the power run out to the house but I'm not sure yet if I'll do that so I just uh, I'm gonna run the generator to do some cutting, so I won't film while I'm doing it, but I'll show you show you what. Okay, well I got some shelves in, but I've run out of plywood, unfortunately. I haven't got enough to finish there. I put in a little support structure for my vice. I just need to get some bolts to go through there. So there's some yeah, there's wood underneath to support the vice. Um, started moving some of my tools under there, so a bit more space on the shelving. So it is terrible weather chucking it down out here it is stormy so I don't think I'm going to work on, on the sides see if it uh, calms down a bit and I'll try and get a bit done on there 
a bit later on, maybe cut some turf as well. We'll see, hopefully it brightens up a bit. Someone asked in the comments how I cut the turf for the roof. It's just the evening time now, it's a bit cooler, so I'm gonna cut some turf. I just use a, a slightly sharpened, small, um, it's a spade, not a shovel, so it's much thinner than a shovel. Shovel, you know, it's really quite wide for shoveling dirt, really quite wide, and it, and it uh, creates a lot of resistance when you're trying to cut through, so as you use a spade, a, you know, a digging shovel, rather than an actual you know, shoveling shovel. And what I do is I slice an area like that that wants to be cut, and then like that, and then I put the shovel against my knee like that, and then slice through. So I'll give you a bit of a demonstration if I can. I see that. Helps if the ground's a bit. A bit soft, as if it's been raining a bit, it helps a lot. And there's a piece. Here's the shed inside now, so I've got the vice fixed down, I've got it bolted, and I've got some, I just need to trim off the bolts underneath, but I've got some bits of wood under there, you can see, to support it, so it's on there really good. Yeah, it's a lever on that nice and hard. That's good. So I've got some tools and stuff underneath and yeah, so it's really nice in here now. Lots of nice work surfaces. And it's just a really nice place to be. Plenty bright enough. Today's a really dark, gloomy day and it's plenty bright enough in here. All my stuff. Got the front wall a little bit higher. And still got to do bits around the sides there at the top, but mostly complete. It's just a lovely, lovely place to be. Stand here, I can look out the window. Yeah, I can see if anyone comes. Yeah, it's great, really nice place to be. So yeah, one more video and this place will be done. And I'll get a bit of security in here and just finish stuff up. Finish the shelving under there and should be done. Yeah, really pleased with it, it's turned out really well. The weather's been pretty rubbish this week, it's been hard to uh keep motivated to do anything. I've got a few bits of wood up on the top there, sort of working its way up. Trim the end but that's no big deal. Um, wood stock is running low. I've got these lots of little bits but they're not much good. A lot of those bits there are really thin. I've only really got those bits and that piece there. So I've still got the sides and everything to do. But she's certainly getting there. I've got quite a bit more turf up on the roof as well. I'll take you up and show you that. So, slowly working my way at getting the roof turfed. And it's not leaking or anything, it's, it seems to be working pretty well. So, I'm about to go and uh, go out. So I'm going to upload this video because I'm going out anyway, so I might as well get the video uploaded. So I'm going to leave this video here. Uh, place is nearly done now. Probably do one last video of just finishing up around it and finishing the roof. And it'll just be a, the last video then. That'll be the shed done. All sorted and finished. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And next video, shed shall be complete.